Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing another episode of DIY or Die, but I'm gonna be doing something that I've never done before. I have actually done the thing that I'm gonna be doing in today's video before, I've just never turned it into a video before. I thought because I do a lot of like clothing DIY and stuff, it'd be fun to do something completely different. So my husband just turned 40 and we're celebrating his 40th birthday this weekend with family and friends. We have a party and like it's gonna be crazy fun and uh, I gave him like a main gift for his birthday but since I like DIYing and I'm kind of a silly <laughs> person I wanted to have a gift that was a craft project as well so as I'm recording this I still haven't given him the gift and he has no idea what it is he doesn't even know that I'm doing it so I have no idea how he's gonna react or anything so the thing that I'm doing is creating my own board game and I'm using an old board game as a base for the new one this is a really fun thing it's kind of time-consuming though because I have issues with my neck I can't sit in like a crafty position for more than maybe an hour an hour and a half at a time so this took me a week to complete because I could only work on it a couple of times a day before it started hurting so yeah yeah, this took uh, a long time <laughs> for me but if you don't have neck issues you can work all day long then you can probably finish this in a day or a day and a half or something like that so obviously the first thing you have to do is come up with your personal concept I'm not gonna reveal all the details of my game because it is a little private it has to do with my husband and with me the game is obviously dedicated to him so I'm not gonna go into exact detail but I'm gonna show you what I purchased, how I proceeded by changing it into my own thing, and like a little bit about the process on how to think when you're creating your own game. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get cracking. The first thing I did was head on over to my local thrift store and check out their selection of board games. I looked mostly at those that had larger boxes and that seemed to contain as much fun stuff and extra gadgets as possible. I ended up picking the Guinness World Record game. It came with a bunch of useful stuff like a spinning board, dice, cards, ping pong balls, pens, straws, a timer, some chips and more. Once I had the game I knew what I had to work with and could start creating the story around my own game. And what I needed to do to get from the original game to my game. The basic idea of my game is that there are five arenas represented by five stars in different colors. Each arena is a social situation that often occurs in our life, such as going to a gig, for instance. To win the game, the players must acquire all five stars by collecting blue chips and doing challenges against each other. The game can totally be played as a drinking game too, if desired. The first thing I did was take care of the main look of the game box. I bought self-adhering decor plastic and dressed the whole box in it. This plastic wrap is kind of a nightmare to work with because it's very easy to get air bubbles in there. I used a dense makeup brush as best to my ability, but some bubbles remained, especially since the exterior of the box is textured and not smooth. Once I had dressed the whole box in this reflective silver coat, I created the main sign for the top of the box. The game is called Life of Matthias, since Matthias is my husband's name. I found a font that I liked, printed and cut it, as well as some detailed writing for the sides of the box, and then glued it all on. I then proceeded to create the rule card, which lists how to play the game and what the rules are. I printed the two pages, glued them to the game's old rule card, and to make it look a little nicer, I added black tape all around the edges. I then started working on the cards. I needed five cards for each of the five arenas, plus an extra three cards for the challenges. Each card had a front and back, which I printed, cut out, and then glued onto the existing cards from the game. This took a lot of time. I also cut out stars in each arena specific color and glued those to the cards as well, to make them stand out more. I would have printed the cards with the stars in color, but our printer was low on everything but black ink, so yeah, what are you gonna do? Next, I removed the spinning arrow from the board and dressed the board with that same silvery decor plastic. And again, this was so annoying because air bubbles kept showing up. They still do after I finished everything. It's so annoying. I just decided to ignore them though. There's nothing more I could do. At least the silver looks cool. I then divided the board into sections, two for each arena, four for the challenges, and two for a sort of extra get out of jail free card thing. So 16 all in all. I just used a black marker to divide it into four, then eight, and then 16 sections. I then glued stars on to match the arenas, wrote a U for the challenge sections, because challenge in Swedish is utmaning, hence the U, and then I did black stars by hand for the get out of jail free thingy. 
After that, all the different parts of my game had come together and were done, and it is now a fully playable, unique game that I cannot wait to play with my husband and our friends on game night. That is it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you have fun making your own board games. Let me know what kind of ideas you want to make for your own board games, alright, in the comment section, and I'll see you next time, bye!